Hi boys and girls, welcome to math this time. It's still Monday um, and we're going to talk about shapes. We're going to shift it a little bit and we're going to start talking about um, two-dimensional shapes, which is 2D shapes, shapes that are flat. So for example, this um, index card is flat. It is a rectangular shape, 2D shape, and it's flat, flat. Flat, 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 flat. But it is the shape of a rectangle. So it's a, is it is a 2D shape. I'm going to go over and do pages 1 through 3 today for Monday. And let's talk about um, rectangle, rhombuses, triangles. But they are all quadrilaterals, which means they have four right angles and four sides. Okay? I'm may make a square or a rectangle in this case this is a side right here Let's see if all of this right here is a side okay this is another side right there that is another side right here this Second. Right here is yet another side of this quadrilateral. And finally, this right here is the fourth side of this quadrilateral. So this is just your typical rectangle, but again, in more mathematical terms, it is a quadrilateral because it has one, two, three, four sides, and they're all the same length, okay? So it also says that it has four right angles. I want to show you a, a neat trick to make angles. Um, sometimes angles are circular, and I'm going to show you that later. Um, but in this case, I'm going to make a little, little kind of square um when i'm making this angle on these quadrilaterals so this is one angle this is another angle this is another angle and this is another angle angles are formed at corners when they are in a corner so do you see that this is the corner this is another corner this is another corner and this is another corner you can't make an angle right there in the middle of the side you have to meet at a corner where both sides meet. Both sides are meeting. This side is meeting with this side. You see the red side is meeting with the green side, and they meet at the corner. Okay? So your job today, right here, we are going to talk about what a side is, what an angle is, and what a vertex is. And we have the answer right here. We just have to match it to the right concept. Okay, so A, the point where two line segments, lines, meet to form an angle. A vertex. B, a line segment that forms part of a two-dimensional shape. A line segment that forms part of a two-dimensional shape. And that could very well be the sides. There we go. Might be. Okay. And then we have a corner of a shape where two sides meet. And we were just talking about that right here. See, right there. A corner, 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 corner of a shape where two lines, like the red and the purple, or the purple and the orange, although this looks more yellow, and the orange and the green and the green and the red these right here are called angles 
and goes. Okay, those are angles. All right, they're at the corner, so I'm pretty sure that angle belongs to C. So right here on page two and three, all right, what you need to do is look at this group. This says triangle right here, okay? Read the definition of a triangle. A triangle is a two-dimensional, that means it's flat, um, shape having three sides, okay? Three sides and three angles. So if we look at our new drawing, let's make a triangle. Okay, so I see in this triangle, this is one side. I see in this triangle, this is another side. I see in this triangle, this is a third side. Do we see corners? Do we see angles? Yes, we do. Right here. This is where I told you that here in the quadrilaterals, you will see that my corners are a little bit squared, but I am going to make this one a little arc. So I'm gonna close it like this. Whoop. I'm gonna close it like this. Whoop. And like this. Whoop. Those are my one, two, three, angles okay inside we see the angles and outside we see the sides all right so that's what makes a triangle do we see a triangle here on a well i see one that's one two three sides hmm, okay let's see do we see angles? That's one angle. That's two angles. That's three angles. I think I could move, because it says um, circle the letter of the shape that you could join into this group of triangles. I could definitely circle A because it meets all the description shapes of the, the description of the triangle. So it has three angles and it has three sides. It could very well go into this group of triangles. So let's check out B. Hmm, I see one side, two, three, four. I already know it's not a triangle because triangles have three sides, like it says right here, okay? And it has three angles, so it's not B. Cross out B. Let's check out D. One, two, three. It has three sides. One, two, three. And it has three angles. So triangle, I know, has three sides. One, two, three, and three angles. One, two, three. So definitely D can be moved to the triangle group right here. Okay, so easy peasy. Okay, quadrilaterals is the next one. Right here you see quadrilaterals. All right. Which other shape could join a group of quadrilaterals? And remember, quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. Four sides and four angles. Is it A, B, C, or D? And when you know, you're going to write quadrilaterals and write whatever letter, um, whatever letter you, you think can move to this group of quadrilaterals. Got it, got it? Then you're gonna do the same thing for pentagons and pentagons have five sides and five angles. Remember, triangles have three sides 
three angles. Quadrilaterals, like squares and rectangles and rhombuses, have four sides, four angles. Pentagon means five, five sides, five angles. Hexagon, right here, means six. Six sides, six angles, okay? So um, that's it for today. Keep working hard. Let me know if you have any questions. I know this is new stuff, but you're going to do just fine. Happy working, mathematicians.